childhood is its own sacred essential stage in life what that means in simple terms is children should be children children play children are illogical children are in a dream like state children are imaginative children need connection children need your presence children need safety so taking them out of that childhood is really floundering their formation their foundation and as they grow older then of course you can you know interject more adult reality but those first 6 years are really about connection presence attunement and allowing children to experiment with who it is they are and then you can start introducing more quote unquote real life realities you know but parents are quick to jump the gun you know from the age of 2 we want them to be little adults because we're so afraid we're projecting into the future all sorts of fears and uh, because we have such an influx of comparison now we're constantly comparing our kid with other kids and how we are doing as parents with other parents you know i used to i used to remember when back then other moms in the playground would constantly compare themselves with me and me with them you oh your kid is not yet you know sleeping on their own oh your kid still doesn't talk your kid still doesn't read and we parents do it to each other you know we we really mess with each other's minds by comparing instead of realizing that every kid has their own timeline uh, you know and their information they're going to take a long time to coalesce into a sense of self no point labeling your kid good bad introvert extrovert because it's all in flux however they have an essence but doesn't mean that they will not be epigenetically transformed they will they will have a, an interplay with their own development and their maturational level and so everything is information so just let's watch let's observe let's allow and we're so afraid of the right and the wrong and the good and the bad and the rules that we really transplant our children out of that magical stage you know as they grow older we can have more rules but we don't have to go crazy with a whole timetable color coded on the fridge you know and your kid is only 3 <laughs> years old we're we're just like overdoing it we're overparenting our children do you think that because i'm sure for a lot of people listening they didn't have that childhood right like they they maybe had to become little adults at 3 4 5 take care of parents take care of younger siblings you know they didn't get the attunement the connection the free play all the stuff that we're talking about what would that show up like in the parenting pattern and and in the ego so maybe if we could identify ego and what that looks like and then as they're parenting and creating space for something they never have what's going to come up like i'm guessing even as they're listening which i'm sure you know i'm experiencing too is is just like wait that would have been nice <laughs> you know like that would have been great Um so yeah I'm curious what you think about that. Oh my goodness, so much stuff comes up that we're not prepared for connected to our own unmet needs. You know literally I have parents who feel rejected by their 4-year-old. Really they feel like the kid is abandoning me, the kid is rejecting me. I'm not a good parent, but it's not the kid who's rejecting you. It's a memory coming up for you uh that feels very familiar oh, and wow. you put it on the kid. 